Hello YouTube, this is me, Swim Trial, coming to you guys with another video, and here we're just bringing to life the character Reyna, my friend created on her channel. So we're going to start fairly simply, she's applying the primer all over her face, using her hands, and we're going to move on by applying a foundation to help even out her skin tone, and we're just going to use a flat brush from e.l.f. to do that. Just want to make sure to buff it in nicely and if you do need to you can always go ahead and add another layer of foundation which is what I did for her forget to blend it down and onto your neck because you don't want your foundation to look like you're wearing a mask. A lighter shade of concealer to help highlight under her eyes a little bit and conceal her dark circles. quick lighting change after experiencing some lighting difficulties I went ahead and filled in her eyebrows as you can see applying an eye primer all over her lid in preparation for all of the shadows. Here I'm just setting all of her face with Rimmel's Stay Matte Powder and I'm just making sure to pat it all over her face and then swirl it in. Again, we had some lighting difficulties, as you guys can see. Bam! iPhone lighting for the win. So here I'm just going to contour with, not heavily, I'm just using a mineral foundation that's a couple of shades light, I mean dark, not lighter, darker than her skin tone is, and going into her cheek area, her forehead, and under, and her jawline. And again, the contouring isn't so heavy since we're going to go really dark on the eyes. But that's just personal preference. You guys can go ahead and adjust this look accordingly. And now I'm just setting under her eyes with the Rimmel State Matte Powder again. Thank you. 
So for her particular eye look, I used four shades of purple, a brown crease color to help with the blending, which is the color I'm placing on her crease area right now and working it upward toward her brow bone. This color is going to make it a lot easier to blend the other purple shades in the future so we can get that beautiful gradient effect without it looking like a cut crease, which is not the look we were going for. So to start off, the first purple shade I used was a light purple that was more pinky toned than it was blue toned. And I just went ahead and put that in the inner third of her eye. I mean, just made sure to pat that color on until I got the um, the truer color, I suppose you can say, or until I got it to the point of pigment where I liked it. And then moving on, I just chose a eyeshadow nice that was another shade darker than the one I had put in her inner third of the eye and put that in the middle of her eye. It Again, it is more of a pinky purple as opposed to a bluer purple. And on the outside, on the outer third of her eye, I put more of a truer purple. And then I went ahead and blended it in so there would be no large, no harsh lines and it would look like in a beautiful gradient going from light purple to a darker purple. And then I just made sure to put a more bluer shade of purple into her crease over that brown color. And then I just used and put an inner corner highlight just to kind of help not be so much purple on the eye so it wouldn't overpower her eye and make it look like she got like socked in the face or something because that's definitely not something we want. And again, I just went in there and blended, blended it into the brown and made sure to blend it up towards the brow bone. Not adding any extra color, just going ahead and blending. And right here I'm just going in with the black. You want to apply the black first and make sure that's how black you want it because you don't, it's better to add on than to try to take away because then if you try to take away most of the time your eyeshadow just ends up looking very muddy and that's not something you want. So again once I placed my black I went ahead and blended it into the purple. And then I just added a highlight under her eyebrow. And again went in and blended the purple shade into the highlight a little bit just so it would be the gradient. And just went ahead and went back in with the inner corner highlight color. And just made sure to blend it into the inner third of the eye purple we added. And then I went ahead and added more black. And then again, blend, 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 you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean off the excess purple. And just using foundation to go over the places I cleaned. I just used Mary Kay's makeup eye remover for this because it made the process a lot easier than just using a baby wipe. So I did give her that sharp line, kind of like the line you would get had you used tape. And I'm just going to 
go in under her lower lash line and add some of the purple and then some of the black on the outer corner. in again with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder to kind of clean up the sh shadows I just put under there. So I just went ahead and lined her eyes. I did do a winged eyeliner on her. I also curled and applied fake lashes. As you guys can see that I'm just fixing up the wing a little bit to make it more sharper and then we just repeated the same process on the other eye and this is the final look here she is wearing a wig go ahead and check out her video I will have a link to it on the bottom bo bottom bar below thank you guys for watching I look forward to seeing you next time for my get ready with me video bye you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys go check out her channel bye